In this tutorial, we will go over the differences between Microsoft Office 2003 and Microsoft Office 2007 as far as interface goes. And we're going to start with Word because that's probably the most commonly used application. And as you can see, the interface looks drastically different from that of 2003. But we're going to go over how to make things more convenient for you um, using Microsoft Office 2007. And one of the first most notable things you're going to see about this interface are the ribbon here, which is completely new, as well as the Microsoft Office button replacing what used to be the file menu drop down. So now let's go over the ribbon first. This ribbon um, is a lot different than anything that you've seen in Microsoft 2003. So what we can do here is we can get rid of it if you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically all you need to do to minimize this is double click on it. And goodbye. If you single click on it, then you can see the options and only single click on it to make it go away. If you double click, it will become lit up here and that way to get rid of it, you have to double click again. If I double click on one of these tabs, any of these tabs, and I single click with my left my left click, this is all left clicking, then it won't go away. I have to double click to get rid of it. But if I s s do one click from the left mouse, then I can use one click to remove it. As simple as that. And you got a lot of options here that Microsoft Office 2007 will give you. Now, one of the things that we missed though is the Office Toolbar. The Quick quick Toolbar, that is. And basically it's right here, but it doesn't have all the same options. Like I don't see Print here yet. Um, print Preview is not there. Spell Check. Now what I can do is Microsoft makes this really easy. I can actually just use, hit this drop down right here and I can click what I want. So if I want new to show up, I can click that. Open. Sure. If I want spelling and grammar, there it is. Print preview. Got it. So this is all set up. Now another thing I can do is I can decide where I want this. So if I right click on the quick launch or quick access toolbar, I can say I can decide where I want it. Do I want it below the ribbon? Okay. So now it's below the ribbon. Personally, I don't like to put it below the ribbon because when I click on one of these tabs, oftentimes it will get hidden. So, I'm going to show quick access toolbar above the ribbon, and that will work out much better. So, another thing that I can do if I want more options is to right click on this again and go to customize quick access toolbar. And we see under customize here that I have a lot of options to put in there. So now I can see a little more clearly what I want. I simply click add. So for example, I would like the font button added over. And that's it. All I have to do is click OK. There's the font button. Now, as you can see, there is no file here. Instead, there's an Office button. So all I have to do is click on this Office button, and I will have s several options here. Now th that are similar to the file button. We got new, open, save, save as, print, yada yada yada. But what we can do here also is go to Word Options, and that'll give you a lot of options of how to customize your Microsoft Word 2007. And what we can do is even change what things look like. I can change it to silver. Um, 
I can go to display. I can choose what I want seen here. Everything that you know, you just if you explore this, you can definitely um, customize things the way you want. Again, now we're back to our customize the quick launch, quick access toolbar. So that's basically a few things you can do. Um, so now I have everything the way I like it, and I am going to close out. And when I reopen Microsoft Word, the things will be just the way that I left them. For example, if I leave home, double clicked here, and I exit out. When I open it again, home will be there just as I left it. Now, if I open up another Microsoft Office application, such as PowerPoint, what I did will not be the same. So I'll have to, again, right click, customize quick access toolbar, and choose what I want to be shown. So you have to do this for every individual program in Microsoft Office.